salvation of the soul d does not become one with the God. It remains distinct. If it were to become one who would enjoy the happiness of who would enjoy the happiness of salvation, then all the efforts done to achieve this emancipation will, will go useless. It is no salvation, rather is the annihilation of the soul. The soul gets emancipation only when it obeys the injunctions of the God, does does action, keeps God's company, and practices yoga. As as per the Treya Upanishad, one when the soul realizes within itself the extincts of the great God who is truth, knowledge and in it is then becoming then being in communion communion. With that boundless knowledge, Brahma it attains that all it desires. It gets whatever it desires. This is salvation. How can a soul enjoy the happiness and salvation with without the corporeal body. Just as worldly pleasures are enjoyed through physical bodies, similarly the happiness of impatiation is enjoyed through God. The impatiated soul moves about freely in the boundless divine spirit, sees the whole universe through the purity of, of its knowledge, associates with other impatiated souls. Its happiness learned in the state of the Impatiated has direct cognition of all that lies hidden within the objects. Swarga is the name of the superb happiness. Similarly, Nakara Naraka is the same is the name of special type of suffering. Due to sensual indulgence, all indulgence, all souls by their very nature desire happiness and shun pain. But as long as they do not as they do, as they do not do right us actions and quit sins, they can neither be free from pain nor attain happiness. The effect must remain as long as the root persists, just as the destruction of the root destroys the trees. Similarly, the destructions of sin inhalates unhappinesses. Signs of man nature. In the man of smriti are allowed to different grades of lies to different grades of actions. One, a man should be able to distinguish between noble, intermeditate, and ignoble grades of the temperament and of then no, donating the leader to should embrace the noble one. He should take a note of the fact that the mind bears the pain or pleasure due to the bad or god metal deeds, the tongue of verbal deeds and body of physical deeds. Two, the man who does with his body <coughs> evil deeds such as theft, adultery, murder of good men is born in the statuary bodies of trees. He who does evil deeds through tongue gets the body of birth. He, he who does evil deeds through mind gets the body of low human beings. Three, whichever quality predominates in one's body, it molds the soul according to its own nature. Gunas. The, the, the below three qualities of Prakriti are pervading all the worldly objects. When the self is luminous with knowledge, it should be known as Sattva Guna. Where there is cheerfulness in heart, peace in mind, and transparency of intellect, we should know that the Sattva Guna is predominant as Rajas and Tamas are su suppressed. Tamas, when in ignorance prevails, it should be known as Tamas. When one is engrossed in worldly pleasures, when the power of discrimination fails, when 
when sensuously gets an upper hand, when intelligent intelligent gets blunt, when nothing is discrimin discriminable, we should conclude that Thomas and is and sat and rajas are su suppressed. Rajas, when attachment and otherness trivial, it, it should be known as rajas. Where, when there is a feeling of pain in mind, is agitated, and though it runs at this or that, it does not find rest. It should be noted the rajas is predominated and sad and tamas are suppressed. The effect of sad is Vedic study. Right was living in increase of knowledge, love, cleanliness, cleanliness, control of senses, good deeds, spiritual contemplation. When is Rajas is predominated and sad and Thomas gets suppressed, then in the being there is a delight in under in undertakings. The want of firmness commissions of bad acts and conjugal indulgent influential pleasures when Thomas is <coughs> predominated and sad of, and Thomas gets suppressed. Then in the being there is a delight in undertakings, the want of firmness commissions of bad acts. And when Thomas is predominated and the other two are suppressed, there is an increase of slot, sleepiness, lack of birth, Francis crudely, a handsome suspension of mental love for begging and sadness of mind. A person reads the various kinds of fruits according to the merits and demerits of the actions he commits under the working of the forces of the three natural qualities of purity, power and passion, sattva, rajas and tamas gunas, those who are born to obtain salvation are above the influence of these qualities. A man ought to first check his mind from those activities which are the result of rajas and tamas. Then he should check his mind even from those activities which result for sattva. He should be perfectly above the material influence and imbued with purity. Let him have a perfect control over the tendencies of mind. When the tendencies of mind are fully con concentrated, the soul finds itself in great God who is a seer of all. These measures should be achieved in order to achieve salvation. The highest object of man's life is to free himself entirely from all these classes of pain. The ills aspiring from one's self are in instance the diseases, the ills siring from other creatures and sufferings caused by natural forces such as excesses, excesses rain, excesses heat, or from the it or from the of mind and senses. Next we will next week we will focus on right and wrong way of living, proper and improper diet. Thank you.